How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Woods and Whatnot. We are back at it again for another episode. In today's episode, we're going to go out fishing. That's right guys, fishing. Something that we haven't done for a while. But the bonus part about this little fishing trip is we do have a subscriber coming out with us or showing us a few things to hopefully catch more fish in the near future. Whether or not he wants to be on, uh, on screen or not is completely up to him. Uh, but yeah, we're just setting up, ready to go, as you guys would have seen. So, I don't think there's really much else that we need. We've got the Esky, got the tackle box, two rods, we've got our chair, we've got some other uh, bucket full of other stuff that we usually use for such trips. So we are going to be fishing out of the Maribyrnong River up near Flemington Racecourse, uh, off of uh, Smithsfield uh, Street Road, whatever it's called. Uh, so it's going to take us about 45 minutes to get up there, but that is okay. We don't mind that little trip out there, uh, especially when it's a uh, new scenery, new place to fish, and hopefully a few fish in the uh, in the esky in there. So without further ado, guys, let's go. Just made it down to the uh, Maradong River. Just waiting for our subscriber to come down, which I don't think he's going to be too far away. He said he's going to be down here about 12.30. It is currently 12.28 as we speak. So it shouldn't be too far away, I don't think. And right behind us now, guys, is the Flemington Racecourse. So I've only been there once when uh, a certain music festival was on many moons ago. This is going back to 2017. So it's been a few years since we've uh, been out there. Just in front of us is the Maribyrnong River where we're going to be fishing out of. Not entirely sure what's going to be in there, but uh, it's always worth a try to have a bit of a fish and everything else in between. So once our good friend subscriber comes, we can uh, get stuck into it as it were. So the two tackle that we're going to be using today, guys, is the two Shimano's. One of them's going to have a lure on it and the other one's going to have some bait. So all we can do is just hope for the best that we do catch something. It might be pinkies, whiting, I'm not too sure, but uh, for now, all we can do is just sit and wait and see how things go. Alrighty guys, we're about ready to go for a little flick. Kindly invited us to come out for a fish. Has kindly lent us one of his rods. We're uh, using a little bit of a soft lure, a little grub, with a... Uh, uh, I'll come up with the bloody name in a sec. Slip my mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of a flick. See if we catch anything.
I don't know about you guys. Uh, decided to put a little um, live bait in there. Got myself a baby brim. First one ever. Look at that. That is sick. I'm very happy with that, guys. Unfortunately, he's fail hooked. So, I'll see if I can get this uh, hook out without damaging too much, and then we'll chuck him back in and hope for the best that he doesn't uh, yeah. uh, find a demise. Second one for Benny Boy. Come here, cheeky. Another one. Look at that. Heck yeah. That is beautiful. That's a decent sized one. Now look at that, guys. Nice little pinky. First one of those as well. Look at the bloody thorns on the back of his friggin' thing. Friggin' hell. This one's going back in the drink. Bye -bye. So guys, we've been down here since about 12.45, it's nearly 3 o'clock now, we were using soft plastic slurs and I figured out what that uh, hook was, a uh, weedless hook, so basically a big curve so the bait can sit high up, works wonders, first time ever using it. So what we've decided to do after about an hour's worth of flicking, uh, we decided to uh, go to some live bait, a little bit of chicken and scrub worms. I've been using scrub worms the whole time. That's where I've caught the uh, little brim and that pinky. First time ever catching those two. I tell you what, I am a very happy boy. Very happy indeed. Unfortunately, Jeff hasn't caught anything yet and he's using the same as what I'm using. Bit of scrubby, bit of chicken. He did have a bit of a hit before, but uh, little bloke has decided to take his bait. But all good. Got enough bait to uh, keep us going for a little while longer. Mr. Jeff has gone home guys, it was awesome to see a friendly face come out and uh, have a bit of a fish with us, so we're going to spend a little bit more time out here, we're going to be using a little pink spoon lure, see if we can catch anything else with that. So we've been out here for a few hours now guys, it's uh, been good fun, uh, especially with uh, having someone to talk to, uh, someone who knows a bit of stuff about their fishing, about their uh, lures and such, but uh, coming to 4 o'clock at the moment, or oh, five. Right. What time is it now? So it's nearly four o'clock. So I'm going to spend probably about five, ten more minutes using this. See if we can catch anything else. If uh, we catch one more thing with uh, with the bait, I'll be happy. about 10 past 4 now guys like this so I'm going to pack it up now haven't really had much luck in the last hour and a bit um, chucked a couple of lures out especially that uh, pink pinkish orange uh, spoon lure no luck so I'm going to reel this in and 
head off out of here because uh, it's starting to get a bit warm and uh, I really need to go somewhere uh, where there's potential buttons to press and flushing of certain things. Don't want to go into too many details, but uh, yeah. So we're going to reel this in and we'll head off home as it were because uh, pretty much done for the day. I don't think the fish are going to come back any more. I'm pretty darn happy with what we caught. The little baby brim and the pink snapper or pinky as it were. I will pack up and get out of here. It even looks like nothing's been really going for the bait. That's all right. That's what we were using the whole time. Scrub worms. That's where we got the baby brim and the pink snapper. And uh, chicken breast as well. There were the two main baits that we were using and uh, some other little lures which uh, we didn't film. But uh, we'll see if I can find something that's uh, close to it once we get home on what we were using. Oh, I'll tell you what guys, I am absolutely looking forward to getting this AC going. It is blistering. It is currently 30 degrees in the car as we speak. So I dare say it's probably around 25 to 27 degrees out there. But even in the sun, whew, I had a hat, two litres of water, and because uh, of the two litres of water, we need to go to a certain place so we might be able to find a place on the way home before we uh, take the 45 minute journey home but still we had plenty of fun today guys I'm very happy that we caught a pinky or a pink snapper and the baby brim very happy indeed it's just a bummer that they weren't a little bit uh, bigger would have been a nice little dish at home but uh, it is what it is the uh, aim of the game is to have a good time, and that's what we have done. We've had fun. And I just want to give another big thank you and a big shout out to Jeff for inviting me out uh, to come out for a fish and uh, talk stuff about fishing, especially what works best, lures, soft plastics, and so on and so forth. But now it's time to get out of here, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Ah oh, man, I tell you what, we had a blast today guys. It was good fun catching two different breeds of fish and talking to a subscriber, Jeff. I uh, do appreciate the time and the invite for today. We are gonna tee up something in the next couple of weeks to go to a different part of the Maribyrnong River or possibly somewhere else. But uh, for now, I'm gonna leave it at that. We're home, that's the main thing. We're gonna sit back and relax for the rest of the day and everything else in between. So again, I just wanna thank Jeff for the time and invite today and the knowledge that he shared, especially with the uh, soft plastics and so on. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that guys. Now we're gonna go inside, sit back, relax for the rest of the day. And tomorrow we got uh, that little thing, but we are making another video for, uh, for that as it were so keep an eye out for that but anyways guys i'm blabbing on too much as per the usual i hope you guys have had fun watching this video hopefully you guys have learned something sorry about that I had a fly on the bloody lens hope you guys learned something new today as well uh, i certainly did due to what baits are used or preferred certainly scrubbies work the best especially with the two two fish best decision ever but anyways guys i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna love yous and leave yous i want to thank each and every one of you for watching these videos constantly watching liking whatever else that it is that you guys do so i'll see you guys in the next video until then guys keep it easy boogity boogie